Hello, this is the late David Frost, and I'm here to interview one of, if not the greatest horror actors in the history of the industry, the amazing, incredible, and also the late Boris Karloff. Thank you, Boris, for taking some time out of your busy death to join us. You're quite welcome. It would have been a grave mistake to refuse. First, everyone knows that off the set you were a quiet, introspective English gentleman. Well, David, I'd like to think of that assessment as being correct. But most people don't know that you were also of Indian ancestry. Have you been trying to hide that fact? My ancestry is of no concern here. Let's change the subject, David. But why, Boris? Are you ashamed of your Indian blood? David, do you know what it feels like to be slowly strangled to death? By a mad scientist? Of course not. Would you like to know? Keep up this line of questioning, and you may soon find out firsthand. Is that a threat, Boris? Because if it is, I will be forced to notify the authorities. And what will they do, David? Sentence a dead man to life in prison? Okay, I'll change the question then. Have you ever lived in Calcutta? No. Would you excuse me for a moment? Certainly. What are you doing there, Boris? Sharpening my dagger, of course. So don't make any more cutting remarks. Okay. Changing the topic, I once read that your films were banned in American public schools. Is that correct? Yes, that is perfectly true. They were banned by the American Janitors Association. Banned by janitors? But why? Because they had to clean up the classrooms after children peed and shit all over themselves when watching my films. That actually makes sense, Boris. We should do the same here in Britain. Wouldn't make a big difference. British public schools are shitty anyway. So, Boris... If you could write, direct, and star in a horror film of your own creation, what would it be about? That's easy, David. It would be about a man, slowly driven insane by a TV interviewer, who plots his revenge and kidnaps the interviewer, and slowly tortures him to death in unspeakably horrible ways. Well, Boris, it looks like we've run out of time. Thank you again for being here, and best of luck. Oh, David, it is you who should hope for good luck. 